Inner three rings, very common protocol that we follow. Oh. Keep going, if you're gonna like this, I'll hit it. Good. Yeah. So this shows you uh, what your reaction time was per quadrant. So you have your upper left, upper right, lower left, lower right. So it shows kind of where you were faster, where you were slower. Mm -hmm. um, this down here, I think, was the one with the quadrant where you kind of didn't see the light for a yeah. long time. It shows you were faster up here, which is pretty common up in this area. And your right side's a little faster than, than your left side. So then we go in and we try another protocol where we suddenly put numbers up on the screen. So okay. go ahead and get up there. So now you're going to see three numbers flash on the screen. Yeah. You call those out every time they come up and you continue to hit the lights. Okay? So this is inner circle, inner three rings, flash three protocol. Five, five, three. Seven hundred. Two hundred one. Six hundred fifteen. Nine hundred forty one. Dang it, six hundred fifteen. 941 994 576 513 Okay, so this shows that your reactions were much better up here which is very common. Um, your vision down below could use a little bit of work, it just comes with training. And then it shows a lot of different bits of data here. So it shows us every 15 seconds how many hits you had. So your first 15 seconds you had 22 hits, the second 15, 22, the sec third 15, 20, and the last 15 seconds you had 20. Um, and then it also shows you your Flash scores. Is he faster than AJ Foyt? <laughs> I don't know. I read AJ Foyt Senior in here. So we'll do one more, which will be a little more challenging. And let me create this here for you. So this is the B protocol. So what that means is that instead of the lights waiting for you to hit them, then they move to the next one, yeah. they actually will leave if you don't get to them. They'll go to the next one. So okay. there's misses. No, no, there's more to it. Uh -oh. So now we're going to create two different lights, red and green. Okay. 20% okay? of the lights are going to be green. The rest are going to be red. You have to hit the red lights and not hit the green lights. Okay? And I'll turn, there won't be any numbers flashing up on the screen. Yeah. All right, you ready? Yeah. Here we go. What lights do you hit? The red. What lights do you not hit? Green. Okay, here we go. You want to get a little closer into it.
Good. So you missed one red light, uh, and you didn't hit any green light, so that's good. Okay. So can we make this any more challenging? What else can we do here? Well, let's do this. Let's do... Are you good at math? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So now, on the screen, we're going to have, let's see, we're going to have the same thing. You have to hit red, don't hit green, but then you have to call it the answers to the math equation on the screen. Oh, oh my god. That's great. This is how it works. All right, you ready? Yeah. Now we normally do this with, uh, um, with a bigger bigger board, but you have a shorter arm, so <laughs> we'll just do this for 30 seconds. Okay. Your mind doesn't know. All right, are you ready? Yeah. So you're doing the math equation. You're hitting red. You're not hitting green. Yeah. Got it? Mm-hmm. Wow. You missed the last math equation. Um, you missed one. You hit one green. That's what I thought. Um, and then you missed one red. That's a lot to process, mm -hmm. isn't it? So we'll yeah. do these kind of tests, and we'll have the drivers do math equations. We'll do green lights. Um, we could put um, different text up on the screen yeah. so that you have to fill in like word association, um, all kinds of things with this. So it's kind of a cool How device. How fast do they get? Um, his, the rec, we have records up on this board out oh, there, okay. and the, um, like, the one that you did with the inner three rings, uh, without any numbers on the yeah. screen, I think you did, I don't know, 70 or 80, yeah. our top scores are in the 180s. Wow. Wow. So, that's how fast they are. Um, and then with, a new protocol is the one you just did with the 20% green, but we do the whole board. Okay. And that has changed the leaderboard about three times in the span of two days. Because once a driver starts seeing other drivers doing well, then they'll want to do more of it. <laughs> so our guys, Dixon used to get almost all of them up there. And then the younger guys sort of coming in, and we haven't done as much with him. But now you've got guys like Gabby Chavez and Spencer Piggott going toe-to-toe -to -toe with each other on some of these protocols. So it's pretty cool to see them you know, get into this. And the nice thing about this is we also have a concussion protocol because this is used by the University of Cincinnati for concussion testing with all their athletes. And um, first off, they feel using devices like this helps you see the hit before it comes so you can brace for it. So they reduced, in one year, they reduced their concussions by like 80% of the whole athletic division. Wow. Um, and they all use this. It also increased their team batting average uh, for the baseball team like by 50% points or whatever like that. The Indians could have used that last yeah. night, right? Yeah. Oh my God. So, um, but the Nobody concussion does. protocol we have is a standardized protocol where they do a number of different tests and then um, they'll, that'll be in their baseline data. So if they ever get a concussion, they come back in and if their numbers are often more than 10%, we can tell them there's a suggestion there may be a concussion. We can't tell them they have a concussion. We can suggest that our scores indicate this. Yeah. So we have all of our drivers do this in the event of a wow. As a matter of fact, last year, James Hinchcliffe got a concussion, and he came in here and uh, was in here every single day. And I had to send this data to IndyCar Medical and say, this is, they, knew, they know this machine. I'm trying to get them to buy one. I don't know why they don't. Yeah. The beauty of this is that unlike the um, impact test, you know, the computer test that it seems like everybody uses, you know, allegedly you can kind of fool that a little bit. I don't know how valid that is, but nobody gets excited to use the concussion. The, that, that No one's excited to do that, that test. Whereas we use this in training constantly, constantly. So 
the drivers want to use it, so there's more emphasis on them using it. So they're constantly improving on all these areas. Um, we saw soccer players using it, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. A lot of different schools are buying them. Um, we use this as a big part of our training. We also put like on ovals. We'll have them do just the left side of the board, and then we'll hold the neck harness and we'll we'll have load for say five seconds then we'll release it while they're just hitting so it's like when you're turning yes. you're looking a corner ahead they're having to read the lights read the numbers on the screen and also kind of see what's out here so enhance the peripheral vision out here while their neck is being pulled to a corner so just wow. different stuff it's amazing yeah different stuff like i said i told you in there that's our why we don't really do we have it in the past done much more than motorsports because it's really what we're, yeah. what we're best at and we have a ton of work that we do with it, and it keeps us focused on this this field. What's you know right here, um, and I think that's why probably the, I don't know probably the only place that I know of in the world that really just does yeah. motorsports. I mean, a lot of places <clears throat> I think around the world and even in the U.S. will have some motorsport stuff they do, but they do a ton of other stuff that's their bread and butter. For us, this is our bread and butter. But then we do other things to kind of supplement that. Yeah. So it's different. Thank Good work, man. That's cool. No Thanks. problem. No, fun. Fun to show this stuff off. Yeah. Fun to show this stuff off. <laughs> there you go.